All right, I got a, uh, a post, uh, a, a question this morning from uh, somebody named D uh, Becky Dorius, who lives out in Utah. And they have this particular uh, looking stuff, which is called uh, selenite. This is fossilized chicken tissue, which I create in the lab. I, I did this, uh, here, let me see if I can show you. Th th this is what normally I created, well, this is what I created to try to find out why feldspar apparently was skin tissue and it is and it, and I have created it and it's because of electric, electrical currents that are in the ground and they have never been considered anyway if you want to look this up that's fine this is, there's a video it's called electro mud fossilization I have it on my channel but anyway the point is out here at 55 we go into looking at this tendon now tendon is not like normal tissue the tissues that are around this, the blood investments and the uh, cellular tissues and uh, muscular uh, things, they, they, they deteriorate quickly. Chemically, they're extremely reactive. Now, this is not anything like regular tissue in your body. And, they re and there's another, uh, I can prove this, because the University of Copenhagen did a... Uh, a study that showed the tendons never get replaced in your body once they're established. The people that have them, like myself, that were established in the 1960s when there was a high level of radiation because of the nuclear testing in the atmosphere, that tendon still has that high level of radiation. Now, everybody knows your body so it replaces itself, you know, your stomach replaces itself like every couple of days almost. I mean, it's really, it's crazy how quick the body can, you know, skin just keeps dropping off and replaced. Uh, all kinds of things happen and replace and, and, and that's the nature of life. However, tendons are like the cables of the body and they're made out of like stainless steel only it's, it's a, they're keratins and keratins and it's a, a fibrous mineralized material and I have I've done a lot of studies on this very deeply and uh, I've done a lot of uh, I have an anatomist that I worked with and he's done a lot of um, what well, he does autopsy goes all around the world and trains people now when he cuts into these tendons it dulls the scalpels a scalpel and the reason is because they're highly mineralized there there's extreme amounts of silicates in there and they're arranged in a certain linear pattern that there are little stripes in it, little fibers and uh, it's hard to see until you get them under the microscope but then when they fossilize it, it's so obviously apparent because the materials take on a different uh, look to them. Uh, some of them stay white and clear like this depending upon if they're in a geologically active zone or whatever the case is but these are, this is exactly what it is, no question about it. And here's the, here's the selenite. Hold on a second. Uh, where was it here? Huh. Now, this is it right here. That's the selenite. Now, you saw what I just showed you, and you see what you see here. Now, this is from a place called uh, crystallinephoenix.com. But it's, this is the selenite. It's all over the world where tendons are. Now, some tendons don't... See, here's the problem. Depending upon the nature of the way the tendon fossilized and what it fossilized in, that's the key because this is called salvomorphism. Salvo means solvents. What's in solvents? There's all kinds of things in solvents. There's chemicals, there's ionic this, and metals, and blood, and all kinds of stuff. Now, when that comes down through the soils and comes in contact with these biological materials like tendons and flesh and uh, organs and lungs and you know and I have all these things I have every one of them I have bursts I have I mean you want you want organs I got them now when that particulates in these solvent solvents in these percolates come down through the soils they could come, come come some of them are geologically active there's they're high volcanic volcanic activity at one time had uh, high levels of um, um, acids and so forth there's all kinds of different things that happen there's not just one scenario so what happens is depending upon the material that's being attacked it can take on a whole different series of, of, of things now they, these are clear ish 
Some of them are milky white, which I showed you was a, a tendon, and that, and I have things that are well. Here, hold on a second. I have things that are, you can't even tell they're deteriorated unless you look careful. Hold on. Here. Here's one right here. Look at that. That's a rock. But if you if, uh, you take that to a butcher, which I did, a friend of mine uh, was a butcher. He looked. He said, "Yeah, that's absolutely no question about it." And you know, there is just no question about it. It's just silly to think that that was a rock. Absolutely silly. Now, and I, and that's what they they said. A geologist telling me they just they know the name. Oh, that's rose quartz. No, yeah. How did it get to be rose quartz? Anyway, they break off here where the muscle turns into the tendinous stalk of the um, of the uh, tendon, and then at the end there's a ball that invests right into the bone. And I, I see this over and over. I have dozens and dozens and hundreds of examples of this. Anyway, that's what it is, and these things are from giant, 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 giants. Nobody can get their head around this. The giants are the earth. When they said in the Bible the giants are in the earth, or there's giants in the earth, well, they're not kidding. The giants are the earth. Case closed. I have the evidence, no question about it. Sicker point has nothing to do with tectonics. Sicker point is a tendon, and James Hutton, who was the father of geology, was not right. He, I mean, I, I like the guy. He's a nice guy, but he was wrong. It's not, you know, looking at what he looked at and then thinking the way he was thinking, just dirt and dust, maybe you could come up with that, but it's just not right. It's life. Case closed. I have a video on that, too. It's, um, it's all on my channel. And it, it, is, it really, there's just no, nobody can argue with me about this. Come and talk to me. Assault me. Scrutinize every single word and every syllable I've said, and I will talk to you about that, and you will never, ever, ever be able to counter my evidence because there is no evidence that can come beyond truth. And I don't care how smart you are, how much you keep thinking, you're thinking you're the right thing. I, you can make excuses, dark and tangled, spooky, this and that. It's not that you know, all the things you're saying are wrong. And everything's wrong, all the way back to the Big Bang, physics, it's all shooting at. Geology, it's all wrong. And you got to take into account life. And if you don't take into account life, you're living in a universe that's just a constructed fantasy land. Once you realize the things that I'm saying are true, and they are true, there's no question they're true. They're scientifically true. In your world, you want scientific stuff? DNA, CAT scans, recreated the process, chemistry, I got it all. So, let's, let's deal with reality and come back out of your constructed fantasy land and, and look at the reality of the world and, and, and stop being so arrogant because you, you, you're just ignoring things that are real and acting like, oh, you're so smart, you don't have to look at it. Well, you're not that smart. Come back to reality and look at what's real. And then we'll talk about the, the, the factual things that I'm saying. Not that I'm just a fool that's running my mouth. Talk to me about facts. That's what I want to hear, facts. And I have not heard one single dispute about the things I've said, not one. Facts, my friends, facts.